War call one time for the Cowboy W. There's nothing that sounds better than that at the Cowboy W. It's Vach Lombardi. We're here victorious uh, versus the L.A. Rams. Uh, we're going to move on because we got to beat up on the Eagles this week. But we will be watching film breaking down what happened uh, versus the Rams. All right? So y'all stay tuned in all week. We got some work for you. Free smoke, free smoke. Uh, before we get into the film, I wanted to highlight my comments for the week. I wanted to just scroll through all my comment sections and find any kind of comments that I thought stood out or just, you know, just any comments that resonated with me. So y'all leave me some and we'll see uh we'll see what we got here right uh let's see mutilated pixelation boy that sounds like a rap album anyway he says i don't care if we're down by 20 they have to play tp and keep freeing up jarwin and lewis who is lewis i know it's blake jarwin who the hell is lewis i don't know but i feel you though fam you're absolutely right um we should get tony pollard going and we're breaking down tony pollard today so appreciate you for your comments sir rap out mutilated pixelation and uh, we got another comment from outlaw star killer he says you know it's getting bad when we start to hear sad watching these videos absolutely man you know the the bears film was sad it was terrible i'm here to watch film uh with 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 happiness with great prejudice you know what i mean because i'm a cowboy fan i don't want to see us look terrible but we didn't look terrible this week we looked fantastic versus the la rams let's uh let's bring us back early in the film session i got time time stamps don't y'all worry Let's take a look at this. Um, in this film session, we're going to see some uh, some plays that we've been setting up all year, some plays that we've absolutely run before, and some plays that we've never seen us do before. Um, we'll cross, the, cross those roads as we get there. Get off my screen. We'll cross those roads as we get there, but this is something that we've run before. Well, we'll line up in a nasty little split formation. We'll give the ball to Tony, but what's different is this is what I mean by split formation, right? Tony would be in the backfield already, and Zeke would just be um, the runner back on the other side of man you know depend on what we're doing either one of those guys could be fullback i like it when jamez olawale is on the sideline that's my opinion but what we did different this time was tony pollard was on the outside he was lined up in the slot somewhere then he came in motion okay he came in motion and we um got the ball to him and we take a look at the blocking scheme up front trust me we're being thorough because i want to make a point here take a look at the blocking scheme up front here jason Witten is going to block clay matthews we're going to uh do a combo block your um right tackling right guard Lael and zach martin are going to combo uh whatever defensive end is on this side to whatever linebacker is going to end up on this side then z is going to get free man up this alley. Travis is going to hook the hell out of whoever playing those. And once I hit the play button, it's going to look a little bit like this. Ah, and da, 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 da. boom. Oh, my God. Come on, Zeke. <laughs> Come on, Zeke. Sending kids into orbit. I want y'all to look at your look at your center, man. Look at Travis Frederick. Look at the look at the feet. OK, to this little this little short pull is what we used to call it. Right. This little outside zone type of look. Right. Just to get across. Then let's take a look at, Z at Travis Frederick's hips. Travis getting his hips on the other side of that block to really seal that thing off. That's nasty. Then we got this two on two situation. Right. We got in terms of blockers, one, two, meaning Lael and Zach. And then we're, we're going to uh, combo one and two, meaning the down lineman and this linebacker here. And it came off without a hitch. Lael was the one to seal the linebacker. And, you know, that's the um, that's the play that we ended up running. And look, we like this so much. Let me look at my timestamp. 19. Look, we liked it so much, we ran it again. Take a look at this. Tony Pollard is on the outside somewhere, outside of the formation. He's going to get into motion. Hey, same thing. Witten to um Witten to Matthews combo here. Zeke's gonna take 24. Seal the linebacker. Travis with the hip work fantastic this time we got a bigger play out of it so um if we're going to be more persistent as an offense to where we take things that work and we just keep running it till somebody stop it i like the notion that we're going to keep running things until we stop it now this ain't something new this this ain't this ain't anything new here it's just that the only thing that we added different was a wrinkle and that's tony coming from wide receiver to uh motion to the backfield to actually take the uh take the pitch there from Dak prescott good work there I'll tell you what, man, you can fire whoever you want to fire. But when this team execute, this team looks a lot different. Okay. 
take a look at this play, man. Specifically, take a look at the front side of the offensive line and just look at how they work. And then just let Tony just run free and just do burst type things on the back end. Good good block by uh, Cooper on the outside there. What you're going to get from your left offensive line is like a waterfall technique. And I'll probably crop some of this stuff out. But basically what they're doing is they're cutting off the uh, the backside of the defense, right? So if Phillips is going to take a quick step and just wall people off, Tyron Smith is just going to take a step and wall people off and look at the front side of your offensive line. One, two, three, four versus one, two, three, four. If we can get them boys to block like this, all we need is a six game winning streak and we will be at the promised land. Can I get a war call for that? Look at how my cousin running with all those blocks being set up. Moving on. I don't want to disrespect nobody, man, but I was listening to the Cowboys radio station this morning and they were making it seem like this look is brand new. This uh, Tavon Austin go in motion and turn it into a triple option type look. Um, and I've broken this down on film before, right? I ain't talking crazy, but like, I just feel like sometimes, you know, just because people syndicate it or work for a syndicated radio station, they feel like they could just say any old thing. We've done this before. Let's turn this into a contest. For anybody that watches my film sessions like like every week, can y'all tell me which which game that was? Like, give me a game and a timestamp in the film session. I'll send y'all some some free merch. That'll be the contest I do. The first person to provide me with that information, the 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 timestamp and the Tavon Austin touchdown play that we did this on, right? Tavon Austin is going to go in motion and this is going to turn into a triple option look, right? Let's go to cartel view so I can get a better angle on this. Tavon is going to come into the backfield here and the option that we have is to either give it to Tony or Dak keep it and run or Dak keep it and pitch to Tavon to run and we scored off Tavon pitching and running. This ain't the first time we've done triple options. We've done triple option looks all year. Somebody let me know what that was, man. But um, yeah, we ended up giving the ball to Tony Pollard here. One thing that I found interesting was um, the personnel here, right? The personnel here. Uh, we got Blake Jarwin on the field, not Jason Witten. And we got Tony and Tavon and not Tony and Zeke or Zeke and Tavon. That's interesting. You know, hopefully we can keep playing around with the with the uh, personnel group so we're not just, uh, you know, doing the same old mundane thing every single week with our personnel packages and whatnot. Let's move on. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. This is something I know exists, but I don't think we've done it before. But the read option out of the pistol formation, uh, normally when we're uh, running the ball out of out of shotgun, the running back is on either side. Um, but if we're going to run the read option out of the pistol formation, then Dak Prescott is going to have to commit to a side, and then he's going to make his read from that side. So we're going to run play here. We're just going to run the play, then we'll come back and talk about it because y'all can't stand it when I start to rewind the play and I haven't shown it yet. Uh, Dak is going to commit to a side. This this is going to be the side that Dak, you know, Dak um, commits to. And as you as you can notice that we're, we're looking up on this side, we're looking to see what the vibes are on this side of the field. Right. I'm assuming that Dak could even hand the ball off and he could keep it. I'm assuming that's what this step here is for. Ah, see that step right there. The one thing that's kind of got me a little bewildered is why is Leo Collins even touching this dude? Like if this was a true read option, which it is, if this was a true read option, Leo would just be letting uh, Clay Matthews run free and he'll be getting up field to go block somebody else. So I did find that interesting. But um, I don't know. We'll cross that road whenever we get there. Vach ain't got all the answers, but uh, I know this is a read option look. And don't be surprised if at some point within this next six games we're going to play, um, if we line up in pistol, commit to one side, read, hand the ball off, or or not hand the ball off, that keep it, and runs, depending on what happens front side. Or I'll tell you what else could happen. And you know what? This is interesting, too, because everybody else is run blocking like they're firing off the ball and Lael is kind of leading his guy upfield. 
And that's kind of interesting. I want. I wonder if it's a situation where if Lael comes off and blocks the hell out of that dude, and there's no, there's like no bodies backside. There's nothing but grass backside. Could we pull the ball there and then? run up one of these little alleyways or whatever. I don't know. Let's just keep our eyes on that. Write this down. This will be on the test. We'll come back and have a conversation about it. It's something that made me sick on this Tony Pollard touchdown. They was trying to hate, man. They was like, oh, the backups was out there, Vach. Tony, Tony, that that ain't nothing. Tony, Tony did that against the backups, Vach. Well, let me tell you what. There go Jalen Ramsey right there. He's on the field. And let's fast forward to the cartel view. That is Aaron Donald right there. And you're going to see Aaron Donald beat the shit out of Cam Fleming. But (laughs) Aaron Donald's right there. 90 is there. Like, this is the first team. Or at least they got first team guys on the field. And you see Aaron Donald going to smoke the hell out of Cam Fleming, but Tony just going to get going and get going quick. He's going to take this thing all the way to the highs, and uh, we're going to celebrate with some uh, – bring that thing back. Chilling in the end zone for a little bit. We're going to uh, we're gonna celebrate a little bit and, uh, you know, you know, holler at the fans and reap our, our rewards or whatnot. But anyway, hey, man, this is the first of a handful of film sessions I'm going to drop this week, man. Uh, salute to the Patreon people. We're going to do a giveaway every single week for my uh, – not every single week. Ooh, pardon me, every month uh, for our Patreon people. But we'll have every single tier involved. Um, it used to just be the $10 patrons, you know, somebody who won a shirt. Now even the dollar patrons, the $2 patrons, five, every single patron will have a, will have a chance to – to win uh to win some merch you know with all the little logos the ass whoop stuff like that it'll it'll be free i'll mail it out to you uh we'll cross that road whenever we get there then we'll have these interactive prizes whether it be hey somebody remind me on twitter of something that i said remind me to do or somebody calls in or if we get a certain comment that i like or a certain whatever whatever just you know just in a giving back kind of way you know what i mean i want to make that a theme moving forward on this channel um because we've been blessed over here. Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I, so you can be a part of those Twitter interactive um, giveaways and things like that. Um, I think that's all I got for y'all, man. Discord is in the description and all that. And, hey, check out my ads, man. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wilson and the Peace Whiskey. Until next time, salute. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels. TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.